Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus, demons tremble. In the name of Jesus, hey, sickness are healed. Yokes are broken. Hey, Jesus shouted. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, la bena cobra sana. Ele manga de pelo sobe na ideia cavaleira. Ai, le me candi le benani a bagu. succeeded in doing there is a God in heaven there is a God in heaven who answers by prayer who answers all prayer scripture declared 65 and verse 2 of the book of Psalm oh yes unto thou that answereth prayer shall all flesh come we come before you today in the name of Jesus thank you Spirit of God thank you Spirit of God Thank you, Spirit of God. Alika sova basa le mare teliga ni ma nas obai ti akai na ma. Open up your mouth and just begin to worship Him, even before we start. Beautiful beyond description, Majesty and throne above. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you, holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you, and I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you, holy God. 
All my praise is due to Him. I stand in awe of You. I stand in awe of You. Alize verosa bicate selemena katimia nalo. Thank Him for this morning. He's been a good God. We come before you, Father, this morning in the name of Jesus. Ah, the grace of God that has appeared unto us has kept us to this day. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful God we serve. You are beautiful beyond description. You're too marvelous for words. <clears throat> too wonderful to comprehend there is none besides thee you sit beyond and above the circle of the earth we love you this morning we give you the glory <clears throat> we ask that the presence of the lord be upon and we men and women tonight this morning whatever time zone they are watching this from the same god is rich unto all we ask in the name of jesus spirit of revival the prayer altar be revived, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me, carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of a valley, which was full of bones. The gadget, the technology, the vehicle, the probe that took the man of God was the hand of God. So the hand of God, when the hand of God is upon a person, it can carry him wheresoever the Spirit of God wants. Like it notice that this was not physical. He was brought in the visions of the Lord by the hand of God and brought into a reality that exists that no eye has seen. Now hear me, I say to you, by scripture the other day hebrews 11 that we know by faith the worlds were framed and fashioned by the word of god and that the things that do appear were never ever made by the thing are the things which are made are never made were never made by the things which do appear there's another reality that is more real than the face of the covering that has veiled that world if there are men then that can be hidden in God, it's the mystery of priesthood. The Bible declared in the book, should be Proverbs, the Bible says that if a man then, through desire, a man having separated himself, will begin to intermingle with all wisdom. When a man having separated himself to go into seclusion, to begin to do business with the monarch of heaven, then suddenly the thing that was hidden as a mystery God will begin to come closer to that man he said I am the God of Israel that hides myself he needs to be sought those who seek him shall find him not those who by the way found him on the road not those he found in the open he found him in the open no sir he seeks those who seek him shall find him the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. It carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry bones. It was full of dry bones, that valley. Caused me to pass by them, to just look round about this valley of dry bones, where the reality is everything is dead. And not only is it dead, the deadness is to the extent that there is nothing really like there will ever be any form of life. It's like stepping into mass and the probe finds bones everywhere and there is nothing there. They will know that there was a civilization, but it isn't anymore. And if there is no life, sign of water, then there is no life anywhere. They say, the scripture declares, I passed and behold, there were many in the open valley. 
they were very dry. He said unto me, Son of man, you know the story. Can these bones live? In the audacity of the prophetic, in the accuracy of the office of Ezekiel, in the experience of what it is that he has seen God do even before, this level he had not seen, this dimension of deadness he wrote himself off. He said, Sirs, to that extent, even now, I can't be able to excavate from the prophetic bag if there, be, if there will be any life for this matter. It's dead and gone. Thou knowest, O Lord, thou knowest. Thou knowest because thou is the one that created. You don't, I don't know the dimension that I'm in now, at the extent to which I see the devastation. We are done and dusted. I can't be able to bring back to life. The master began to speak unto the prophet and he said, Professor, he didn't tell him I'm going to speak on your behalf. He didn't tell him I'm going to find a word in the inside of me and give to you. He didn't say open your mouth wide and I will fill it. He didn't say eat the scroll to Ezekiel in the dry valley of dry bones. Said unto him, prophesy, prophesy. And if you're going to speak, I'm going to put the words in your mouth. Say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. So I came this morning today to present to you the method, uh, the methodology of life, of resurrection, is by speaking. Kenneth Hagin will teach and he said, faith by speaking. Faith by speaking. <clears throat> faith that comes by speaking not just by hearing but by speaking said oh ye dry bones hear ye the word of the lord and then thus saith the lord thus saith the lord thus saith the lord if you jump from verse 10 the bible declared that the prophet began to prophesy as he was commanded and the breath came unto them and they lived and stood upon their feet and ex an exceeding great army. Oh yes, oh yes. And he said, these are the bones of the house of Israel. These are the bones of the, house, the whole house of Israel uh, that have given up and uh, 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 wrote themselves off. This morning I want you to open up your mouth. Begin to talk to God right now. Don't matter what it is that has been dried up in your valley. Could be finances. The nation dried up. We are in debt. Still going into is it the World Bank IMF? There's a lot of memes and a lot of uh, uh, spite and a lot of anger that is going on on social media in the country of Kenya regarding the kind of indebtedness. The Lord warned about debt in 2018, 2019, two straight years by the mouth of this prophet. He said we're gonna get to get to neck deep. By the time His Excellency, the President uh, Uhuru is going to get out of office, we'll be neck deep. And if you're not careful, we will come and be reined in by foreigners, foreign governments that we all. And there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of um, what do you call chokehold in regards to finances. Now we are here coming out and there is hope, there is future. There is, there is the blessing of God in the country of Kenya. Yes, it is. But we need to manage our debt. We need to be to seal the holes of corruption that are siphoning the resources of our children in the next generation. Oh yes, we need to pray that God will intervene in the matter that is called Kenya, in the matter of the economy of Kenya because it's mismanaged. There's a lot of siphoning. It's the only our president who say there is one billion getting lost every day and he's got nothing to do with it. Separated himself really far off from the reality that it is bloated government, that is bloated uh, 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 public service, that is the one that is causing all this. One billion is being siphoned from everywhere. And the CEO just reported he became a news anchor and there was nothing to do. He's really tried to do what it is that he needs to do in regards to corruption. But there is no political power and willpower to prosecute anybody that is connected and has been implicated. It is in Kenya that the laws regarding corruption are, are so well written, uh, but so poorly executed.
but when it comes to COVID-19 and the church and as it regards separation and social uh, uh, distancing and arresting men that break the law the law is well written and very fast executed you know what that means it tells you there is no political power no willpower to prosecute what it is that is eating the society because the power that sits and that anchors and that controls what it is that we call the economy and the siphoning thereof of monies is the spirit of Mammon. And if you come after the spirit of Mammon, that beast will devour. That beast needs a serious anointing. It needs to be empowered from the spirit of God. You need it to be empowered. That's why we pray even in this season that the Lord, as we prophesied this morning, will intervene in the matter of Kenya. The hand of the Lord will come and heal us. Dry bones everywhere in this country. Open up your mouth now. Use 37 and verse 1 of the book of Ezekiel and tell the Lord Malika Sofra Kadeli Abaras Obate carry us into the spirit this morning let us do business with the monarch of heaven cry out for the soul of this country cry out for the soul of your house cry out for the soul of the economic status that many of the Kenyan people many of the people of the church of the kingdom of God are suffering from Lika Pasovante Kemerus Aliden Kupadia Kaita Lika Paskovanima as much as there is another reality and another kingdom that we serve and another place where we receive what it is that we will call the stimulus package from our economy. Ravens are being sent. Oh yes, finances are being sent. Destiny helpers are being sent. But in the case of this reality of the nation of Israel, there were dry bones everywhere. There were dry bones everywhere. There were dry bones everywhere. And the prophet, even in his homily, could not be able to excavate the mystery of the level of deadness. There are men and women out there that are long gone in their spirit, have no oomph, no fire for the spirit of God, for the things of God. Dead, like in the valley of dry bones, in the kingdom of God, suffering, in the kingdom of God, avoiding. <clears throat> Uh, uh, the word of God in the kingdom of God uh, having been despotent uh, in the kingdom of God no direction in the kingdom of God no power in the kingdom of God no joy whatsoever ah uh, because life has beaten uh, has beaten all of life outside uh, and in the inside uh, that become a valley of dry bones this didn't work that one didn't work um, this prayer didn't, was not answered that one was not answered this faith was activated but it didn't bring results become despotent become ah uh, you've given up you found yourself in the valley of the shadow of death uh, yea even though I walk uh, through the valley of the shadow of death the scripture declared I shall not fear I speak to every dry bone in the country of Kenya. Let there be a coming together. Oh yes, in the name of the Lord. We've been so divided. We've been so bitten. We've been so tribalistic. We've become, oh God, most corrupt. Even in the kingdom of God. Oh yes, we've perverted ourselves. Oh God, as perverse oh, of unrighteousness. Oh yes, and of corruption. We've boasted in how much we can pay. We've boasted on how much we can be able to buy. We've boasted on how much we have accumulated by monies that have come through underhand deals. And we live in posh houses, live in places, drive high-end cars, and begin to pick up microphones, and begin to become the worthy leader that men would follow. And yet our hands are soiled with blood. And oh God, the bread of our children for the next generation has already been sold and eaten and father will oh god we are in a valley of dry bones as a nation we cry for mercy this morning pray ladies and gentlemen let there be 
Me kaban kade de betos ali kade mate. I kaban tele ke me konta le kabarane. Femos ala kapas ko frakata tali. Japatos edia para. Emente ke menos aligia. E pedu zagida kabarados ke begedeni. How long shall it be that oh God in the streets? How long shall it be that in the offices oh God there are only people oh God of a certain tribe and of a certain culture and of a certain inclination uh, in regards to their language how long shall it be that an, an entire nation will be bleeding uh, and no one cares as the executive uh, and lord we've done everything that we can be able to do to pray for this president uh, to pray for this government um, my god and my father you are the god that can humble men bring us oh god full circle to the place where we can be able to know that you are god all by yourself um, and that we are just mortal men uh, and that the president and his government and the people with in, in power that have commanded power that has been delegated to them their abuse of power their abuse of power will come to an end we cannot be able to sing the songs of Zion right in Babylon, O God, by the river. We ask in the name of the Lord. Give Kenya a perspective. Give Kenya a time of refreshing. In the name of Jesus, we've gone through a lot and through the fire and through a high water. Oh Lord, bring us out to a golden place. Bring us out to our space in the table of nations. We're getting overtaken, O God, by men and women women that have integrity as much as they might not have the fear of God in their lives. We parade ourselves as God-fearing people. Dear you are the most corrupt, O God. We ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. Widows and, and girls and a lot of abuse and a lot of promiscuity and a lot of disregard to the law and a lot of disregard to the honor of the men and women of God. A lot of disregard to you churches now are closed bars are closed restaurants are closed and the church has been put together with the items oh god that gives appetite to the flesh my lord and my father have mercy have mercy on us oh god we are not rebels we're not men that are rebels that are not under authority but we ask in the name of the lord make a distinction keep us sovante kalia mana eke de bos aliga pray 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 make a distinction Antelia, E Bazuzu Zavina Case, Aikipitis Kabatoa, Katilia Kaina. Make a distinction, make a distinction with your people. Let there be a remnant of God. Himanaka Sova, Pharaoh subdued Israel for 430 years. You came in the volume of the book with ten plagues, began to speak to Pharaoh, release my firstborn, let the church go. The church in the wilderness was Israel and Moses being their bishop and their pastor, their prophet, whatever name you may want to give him. They were baptized in the baptism of Moses. They were baptized in the Jordan, all of them. Malakus keberes koban kebedia patini mi atai. Iki digi bagas kupa katatua. Kementele kamarus kefretele. There were kings everywhere. There were nations in the hinterland. There were our adversaries everywhere. The Bible declared in Psalm 105. Oh yes, when they were but a few people. When they were but a very few people, strangers in the land. He suffered no man. He suffered no man to do them wrong. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus this morning. Suffer no man to do the church wrong. Suffer no man to do the church wrong. Suffer no man to do the church wrong. That is why we are what we are right now. As an economy and as a people, oh God. We are living by the masses of yesterday's prayer. Of the forefathers of prayer. That have put in a covenant and cut a covenant with thee. And yet we have abused that grace. We've disabused what it is. That the prize of the forefathers fathers and of the spirit of just men that walked in this land paid the price for men that called and spoke truth to power we killed them we maimed them we silenced them we instigated a scandal over their character and their name we've done all that we can be able to do to chase you out of our country we repent this morning we ask oh god in the name of the lord let this dry bone leave let this dry bone called kenya leave revive us revive thy works in the midst of the years revive thy works in the midst of the years revive thy works in the midst of thy years revive thy works in the midst of the years revive thy works in the midst of the years 
in the midst of the years, oh God. Ah, lima so cause thy face to shine upon the country. Kalima nas o barade. Tuka patuske bregata teli. Kini di bi atole ka presko vatelia. Manta ka pasko bake. Kadudu dubu uske pekete teli. Ikatalia ka itale ka prekesko farakata. Pray, open up your mouth, wherever you are, Zion. Call unto God. On the behalf of the land that has shown despondency, that's given shed blood, innocent blood. May women getting raped. Baby is getting abused, boys getting sodomized, blood being shed in forests, people, oh God, robbing one another, injustice in the court of law, the president acknowledging corruption, doing nothing about it, oh yes, shutting down by the law that has been brought about by mischief, even many, many voices that have been silenced, and the blood that has been spilled on the ground is an accumulation of things that the nation has done and that the iniquity of the nation when it rises up to God he sends prophets he sends prophets to cry on the behalf so the responsibility is with men and women of God to rally around Zion and to rally around oh God the valley of dry bones and to begin to prophesy therefore in the name of the Lord we call upon the east wind we call upon the east wind we call upon the east wind we call upon the southern wind we call upon the northern wind we call upon the, all the four winds of the earth um, gather together even in and blow oh god blow 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 bring about oh god the breath of life um, in the name of jesus malika sovan tekebe the bible declared in the book of genesis 3 and you breath the breath of the almighty was breathed upon men and he became a living soul the second adam is a quickening spirit the first adam uh, was a living soul uh, the second adam is a quickening spirit if the same spirit that dwells in jesus if the same spirit that resurrected jesus from the dead oh yes that brought him out back to life dwells he indeed he dwells then by the same spirit will we be quickened will we be quickened kalima no sai ikete te paruska prakata talava komante ke makaduda kidadi di bikas kopa kadidi bi atele ke bregado mana kanua en takapatos ke prakata tele ki makus ke petia kaita lama ante masavante le ke presko the breath of life enter into every society into the substratum of our society from our families from our marriages up oh god to schools even to university getting into high institutions of learning we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus intervene oh God in the society in the marketplace we take the seven mountains by the grace of God we prophesy that the economy will recover surely there will be miracles of the economic recovery packages oh God and stimulus packages are not enough to recover an economy but the hand of God that brought out the prophet even to the lie into the valley of dry bones can be able to carry us can be able to breathe a Upon the economy that has been tattered, the tourism sector tattered, the health system blotted. We ask in the name of the Lord, overworked workers. We ask in the name of the Lord, have mercy. Lika pasoba, enti di di bi asko baratua. Habakkuk 2 and 1 the scripture declared I will stand upon my watch and I will watch I will stand and watch to see that which he will say not to hear to see that which he will say unto me and he said write the vision down we stand in the place of prayer who is he that speaketh and the Lord commanded him not ah, who is he that commands and the Lord has not given him authority who is he gather yourself together and be broken into pieces we arrest every demonic entity that has had occasion and has legal grounds to operate in the government of Kenya by disobedience by bloodshed by satanic altars and satanic worship we are in the name of the Lord, may the hand of God, may the hand of God remove and annihilate and expose and expose and expose every Haman, every Haman, every Haman, every Haman, every Haman, every Haman, let them be exposed, let them be exposed. Katose Keperosko, rebuild, oh God, our walls, rebuild our walls again, we rebuild our walls again, we call upon the name of the Lord, ah, by thee only shall we remember thy name, ah, the Lord of had dominion, ah, the Lord of had dominion. Dominion, and the Lord have had dominion besides 
easy but by thee only shall we mention the name of the Lord but by thee only shall we mention the name of the Lord open up thy mouth open Zion and pray Kalima no skabai these are prayers of transformation these are governmental prayers these are not give me give me that and this does not butter and bread kind of session is coming to the place uh, of selflessness and calling upon the name of the Lord as an ambassador talking to the father of all spirits the justice will be found for many men and women that have gone to the courts of justice and never found any justice I am malis ele denied delayed justice is denied justice I may so pata that is the perception ah malis kofrakata many have gone merry go on a merry go round in the courts of law one lawyer after another one judge after another and one and trick after another in the courts and in the books of law and many have gone without justice people have been killed maimed raped daughters of men fathers have lost their daughters mothers have lost their sons people have shot one another killed assassinated men have been sliced to death in on gong forest on roads on bomba on the national park in 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 the other park in 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 in, in Voy and thrown out and a lot of injustice and political witch hunt is going on on many fronts and blood has accumulated in the ground and blood has accumulated in the nation we need to pray oh god pray unto the father of all spirits to bring all of the nation of the nation of kenya to the place to the place of recovery to the place of holiness to the place a man fear to take one's life it's not cheap it's not a chicken it's not a, an animal that you need to sacrifice and blood has been spilled on altars of virgins and young girls that have been raped and killed it's a sacrifice and an initiation to open up a demonic portal so that men can be galvanized and empowered men are fraternized with all part of their bodies to altars to gain power and to reign on power and to marry a woman and to be able to sleep with one and the another one and this other one and appetites that have been sanctioned from the pit of hell has oh God galvanized men to become more evil and wicked like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah we plead for mercy like Abraham find for yourself 50,000 50, find for yourself 500,000 find for yourself 5 million find for yourself 50 find for yourself 100 find for yourself oh God a people you as God who sits in the heavens to behold the works of men to behold the face of the children of men the scripture declared you sit in heaven above you behold the works of the children of men behold the nation behold the nation have mercy oh God we call upon the dry bones to come back again joint upon joint sinews upon sinews all oh, as he is upon ears oh come as so pratalia kaida dama ante kubante leke breketa each and every one of them upon their own tribe each and every one of them upon their own order because their body is celestial and their bed is terrestrial all oh, their stars differ differing in glory ah malika scope they yet they're in the constellation bones upon bones skin upon skin sinews upon sinews we pray today in the mighty name of jesus and the hand of god oh god bring about a recovery that we may be able to stand up again in the table of nations we can be able to command results again let the church be awakened let the prophets be awakened that we can be able to prophesy in the name of jesus according to the emphasis of the spirit that will not be blinded a super ruske pre the flaws my soul. A tini di bi antele kabaradu sadia. Something happened. And now, now I know. 
touch me Me home. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. <clears throat> Verse 79. Let them, let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Verse 96, I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Verse 107, I am afflicted very much, quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Verse 126, it is time for thee, O Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. I want you to open up your mouth and invite God on that matter. Invite God in this matter. Invite God on the Kenyan matter. Invite God over the election. Invite God over COVID-19 infection rate. Invite God even right now. It is time for thee, O Lord, to work because men have made void thy law. We've neglected thee. It is an announcement that we really actually need you. It's an announcement. We come in Zion today to invite thee. Aluko sevina marante bresku bakita peke de skadibia pato keme kama embruski batali katele kavane ma os ama pray masoma teli akaita le kabregazo. I have seen the end of all perfection, seen the end of end all of all intellectual enterprise, seen the end of what money and wealth can do. But His law, the word of the Lord, has exceeding perfection. It is exceeding broad. Because we are those that fear Him, we turn to Him today. Revive Thy works in the midst of the years. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us that know You have a testimony. We ask in the name of the Lord that will not call Thy name in vain. Will not call Thy name in vain. Oh yes, we have been afflicted in this country. Afflicted. Afflicted, we afflicted. Quicken us, O God, according to Thy word. Quicken us, quicken, quicken the body. Awaken, awaken the priesthood. In the mighty name of Jesus, so we can get to know that You are our hiding place. You are our hiding place. You are our hiding place. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into that name and they are safe. It is time for the workers in the country. It's time for you to work in the government. It is time for you to work in the society. It's time for you to work in the body. Quicken, 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 quicken us according to thy word that we may live in thy presence. Masumana kaparos ke prekete katini bi atole ya kaina mantele meso parasko frakatele kidini bi asko vatini bi atele ya empasko pakare zavina mesum patakante le kinana kadutu ba aske peratua kabasko pai ekete keberesko pakatua ekete keberesko bakante ikataske prekatini bi antele emas Scopa Copa Tasca, a Santelia Parate Cabana, a Dom Pacatuna Cabantele, Ikidi Gibi Beato Domande, Meson Pasco Pacatele Carada, Zete de Pesco Pacatu di Patale, Ikitia Pazatele Camana, Ferrom Tequina Cabano. You are our hiding place. You are our hiding place. There's no place we can run but our steps, oh God. Ah, my last of our Divi Antele Merada Bashai. And a man tole cabedos, a liga berros cabragada didia, and take it be atolia caparados cade de betale, vampacus cabegadedi, sadidi be antalia caida lagaba. Deal with us, O God, deal with the nation, deal with the church, O God, as as your servant. According to thy mercy, O God, teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Me mama si vini kama na na mantele, ande ke broso frakis ke frakidi di bi atele, bratos ke bregete tele ya kaida lavara, famento samika di di bi asovate, kupanto li ya kaita ma. Yes, Lord. Worthy to be praised. You're the Lamb upon the throne. To you we lift our voice and praise. You're the land a 
upon the throne for you are glorious Sakato Salida Baha'i worthy to be praised your the Lamb upon the throne O thou that answereth prayer and unto you a voice and pray you're the lamb lamb upon the throne mm. you are the lamb upon the throne the word of the Lord is true from the beginning Every one of his righteous judgment endureth forever. The psalmist declared, I've prevented the dawning of the morning so that I can cry unto God because I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes have prevent the night watches that I may meditate on thy word. Surely, great peace have they that love thy law and nothing will really offend them. Paraphrasing. I speak to you now in the name of Jesus this morning. I release the blessing that will keep you. The mindset, the perspective, and the habitat of the Spirit of God that will put you in great peace even this morning. It don't matter what it is. Great peace of they that love his law. Great peace of they that love his word. Great peace of they that have a covenant with him. Great peace of they that love his word, the speaking of his word because nothing will offend them. This morning I bind the spirit of offense in this fasting. Every demonic entity and arrow that will be shot from the underworld to bring offense this week, to bring offense to your prayer, that you may be able not to be able to seek God with a pure heart and to be offended and to be in the place of the flesh. I decree and declare that arrow backfires in the mighty name of Jesus. I maso kapasko fratiri bi antale to the amanate ke prentale kamakado dubu ute ke brekes kufa katalia. I will lift up mine eyes from whence cometh my help. The psalm is declared in Psalm 121. My help cometh from the Lord, the Mecca of men. I speak to you on the behalf of men, women of God, that are in prayer even in this season. Church body of Christ that is in prayer right now we lift up intercession we decree and declare from that perspective men will look unto you and find a testimony of the Lord because you will become the epitome of what God can be able to do with men and women that have given themselves to the kingdom of God I decree and declare that he will not that he will not suffer thy foot to be moved in this economy, in this status, in this lockdown, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. You will not be unstable in thy ways. I bring clarity. I dissipate confusion out of your life. I decree and declare life to your sick body. Let it come from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive life. Receive life receive life indeed in the name of the Lord we prophesy that the hand of God will be upon you this morning and throughout this day in the name of Jesus so shall it be over your life until I see you again in the course of the day for another time of prayer being your host prophet John Haggai say if it is not God we serve then we serve nothing at all Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I love you. Yeah.
even this very early morning today. Lord, I love you, I love you. Worship him as you go. Let him pack your day with the presence of the Lord. Lord, we worship you. We adore thy name. We adore thy name. We adore thy name. My, 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 my. It's a bit of a man. Ruska de di atali. of peace, the Prince of Peace himself, will ensure that you have This song says, you will never ever change. You are the Lord and you remain the same. How many of you believe that with me tonight? Whatever he has said about your life must come to pass. Because he is the Lord and he never ever changed. You will never ever change. You are the Lord. You remain the same. Aha. You Somebody lift it up and say, 